Is it okay to get high at church? Hell yeah it is. Moses talked to a burning bush. It's just a translation error to he smoked that good kush. Besides, even if Jesus gets angry, he'll forgive you. That's kind of his thing. So if you're planning to get high at church, you're going to need a few tips. Tip number one, do not prank the Lord. And yes, it would be funny to dress up in a devil's costume, sit in the back row and start booing. And the Lord said on the seventh day, and it'd be hilarious to put yogurt in your mouth and pretend to have a seizure as soon as you touch holy water. <laughs> oh, and who could forget printing out a whole bunch of sexy minion pictures and sneaking them in Bibles before people arrive. <laughs> Objectively hysterical. But please, do not do any of these without filming it and tagging me in the video. Tip number two, scoping for tail. Getting high is going to make you quite horny, and it's always better to meet people in real life rather than an app, so what better place than God's crib? Now, you're going to want to find the most religious girl. Sure, you may not have sex before marriage, but there are still two more holes in the table. Three if you believe hard enough, and religious women are pretty easy to seduce. Think about it. They like to be told what to do and not to ask questions, so be brave. Walk up to her in the middle of the sermon and whisper in her ear, he has risen. Tip number three, dealing with paranoia. You might get paranoid and start to hear voices, but then again, there's also a person in white robes telling you he is also hearing voices, so take it with a grain of salt. Best way to deal with paranoia is to distract yourself with food. But you gotta be discreet about it, okay? Cheetos, popcorn, banana while not breaking eye contact are gonna draw too much attention. My recommendation, cheese. Jesus Christ. Tip number four, accepting the Lord. Sure, some things in the Bible make no sense, like Noah's Ark, two of every animal when some animals literally eat other animals. Or why would God give me free will and then make my body attracted to hookers? But it's best not to overthink these things and let the power of God reign upon you. Besides, miracles actually make more sense while high. Like Jesus turning water into wine. Shit, he's just trying to get turned up. Jesus walking into town with a whole bunch of fish, he just got the mungies. Jesus getting resurrected, he's just waking up after getting stoned. Tip number five, what to do if caught. Never get caught, don't panic. You got a couple of options, okay? Option one, deflect. If your pastor suspects you of smoking, you can hit them with the, so you believe that a cosmic Jewish zombie can make you live forever if you symbolically eat his flesh and telepathically tell him that you accept him as your master so he can remove an evil force from your soul that is present in humanity because a rib woman was convinced by a talking snake to eat from a magical tree. <sighs> Are you sure you're not high? Now, if that doesn't work, you're gonna have to go with option two, blackmail. If your pastor finds out and threatens to tell your parents, then you're gonna have to play hardball and say he touched you. He'll get real defensive and probably say, I never touched you, you're too old or, or something, but make sure to respond back with the, he kept saying that I was high on drugs and I didn't know what I saw, but I know what I saw. Then watch as he gets on his knees and prays to you. So those are my tips for getting high. I'm pretty confident they weren't the tips you were expecting, but they are the tips you deserve. And if you're still feeling guilty, just remember God also smokes weed. Either that or angel dust. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.